<laughs> this is the LS210, which actually measures out to be about an LS219. Uh, this is a LS180 that measures out to be about an LS189. This is a LS150 that actually measures out to be about an LS170. Uh, apparently the people at, Le at least them are having a hard time measuring or they have a ruler that is not, <laughs> not accurate. Anyway, today we're looking at the LS130. 210, 180, 150, and the 130. Any guesses as to how much this is gonna measure? Make them now. So here's the LS210 all laid out. You got the main plate, the camera mounts, and the upper plate. And you, depending on which kind of camera you're gonna, you use, you might use this or you might not. This one is designed for cameras that have the holes on the side and you could run the screw through here into the camera and then it just gives you a pivot point uh, that you could use, you know, for angling your quadcopter. If you don't have a uh, camera where it mounts in the side, you'd use something like this and you would hot glue it or somehow attach it to this plate or you just do like I do and just hot glue the thing in place. Uh, just like all the other Leesum quadcopters, it comes with the large spacers for your top and bottom plate spacing and the smaller ones for your landing gear. And this one has mounting stuff for a, um, a power distribution board but it doesn't actually come with one. Uh, and it also has the uh, metal screws for putting it together. I'll get this thing put together and we'll see how it actually measures up. So here's the LS130 assembled and you can see by my hand this thing is is very little. If I hold it in my hand like this you can get a good idea of how how small it really is. Uh, but the question I've been wondering is how big is or how much does this thing actually measure? So I got it lined up pretty close to zero and the answer is it's an LS 148. This should have been called the LS 150 instead of the uh, instead of this other one here that's actually more like an LS 170. This is an LS 148 parading around as a LS 130. Well, this thing here, it didn't come with the little rubber feet like the um, like the other ones did. These do look like they're uh, actually aluminum spacers instead of steel spacers, so that lightens the load up a little bit. And the uh, plates on this look. Like they're actually very thin, so I'm a little bit hesitant on having opinions on this yet. I got this tear it out at zero, and this comes in about 1.95, two millimeter main plate, and this upper plate looks like it's about one. Yeah, 0.91 millimeters. And this upper plate and these side plates and the uh, camera mount here in the front are all the same thickness. And I, I look at this and I think, why do they not build this, you know, shorter? I think you'd be better off on this size of quadcopter making this shorter. This thing right now, let me measure this because I didn't do it yet, is 35 millimeters, 35 millimeters of space. On the other 130s, they're making it so small that you can barely squeeze everything in. It is possible, but it's just really small. And on here, I, I, I wonder if they left it big like this so that way they could have this nice uh, looking camera mount or maybe they left it like this so that it can uh, look the same as the other ones in the series it does have the little camera mount up here but this thing is you got a lot of pla a lot of carbon fiber hanging off here and it's pretty thin <laughs> you also have the uh, wire holder which I think all quadcopter should have this it didn't come with any um, grommet or anything for that so you have a little bit of uh, potential cutting there especially since it's kind of thin you'd have to wrap your wires in electrical tape so that you don't cut it um, on the bigger quads I thought the weak points would be back here you know having this hole a little bit bigger than the other ones but actually it, it ends up that this is actually a very weak point right here and it's between this big hole and this first hole uh, first rectangular hole right here I've actually cracked one of my frames right there. It's not completely cracked, so I still fly it. It still flies fine, but it did crack, and that's because I landed like that, <laughs> and I'm not really surprised that it cracked, but I don't know that any of them could actually sustain that. But it cracked, and it still flies. It holds itself pretty straight, so it's okay. Anyway, this is the LS130 uh, we're talking about, so let's get back to this. The arms here on the uh, mounting holes are set up for 1806 motors and it also has the larger size uh, motors uh, motor holes on here I don't know that a 2206 motor is going to spin three inch props any better than an 1806 motor because 
three three inch uh, three inch prop is actually fairly easy for those size of motors to spin. So I don't know why you would choose to use these bigger holes unless you already had the motors or you're trying some motors with a lot higher KV, but the 2206 series are going to just be kind of heavy for this size of frame. This is a diatone three and a half inch blade or a prop and you can see here it's not going to it's not going to get past this uh, mounting post here even up here in the front it can't even you can't even get it up there close enough to uh, center it over the hole this is a diatone 3045 prop and it spins up here just fine it clears everything up here clears everything back here just fine so a three inch prop would work on this if i was going to actually build this out i'd probably take these spacers and try to cut them off and lower this plate down a little bit to make it a little bit smaller now the nice thing about this about this 130 is they give you all this extra room back here all this extra room back up here in the front and it's so tall that it would make the the build pretty easy but if you actually start building this out and use 1306 motors and three inch props i think if you uh, i think this is going to be a little bit heavy for a build like that. Let me get this uh, scale turned on and we'll measure this and see how uh, much it weighs. So here's the scale and I'll go ahead and put this LS130 on there. It comes in at 57.5 grams. Again, like I said, this is, it's just a little bit heavier than it probably should be. I, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of start having questions about some of these frames and the decisions that people are making. So here's the Deformation 130 and the LS 130. And you can tell this one just looks a little bit bigger, has beefier arms, beefier middle plate. But if I hold these up next to each other on the uh, arm distance here, you can see the front to back arm distance is a lot longer on, a, uh, on the LS 150 or 130, sorry. And the left to right is a little bit wider as well. But that's because this thing weighs or measures in at 145 or 147, whatever it was I said. Also, you can see here on the side how much taller the uh, the spacers are for this uh, LS uh, 130. They should be about this size. In fact, even when I got this frame, I thought these these spacers were kind of tall, but these ones are a lot are even more tall than the Deformation 130. So this is a Blade 150, and if we compare this Blade 150 to this 130, you can see the spacers on here are still significantly smaller. This is a Lantian 130, and this is the LS 130. And you can see, this does not look like a 130 when you compare it to this. This one actually measures 130 uh, millimeters across. It has the four holes up here on top designed to hold uh, your video transmitter in place with zip ties. They slide through here and just zip tie up tight so that it holds it in place. Um, the only thing I would recommend on this frame is that they I wish they would have cut these holes a little bit smaller, or drilled these holes out a little bit smaller, and also not had a hole in the center because I don't know what the purpose of having the hole like this in the center is other than to maybe lighten the quadcopter a little bit. But the even the new Diatone um, camera mounts are designed for four holes and they go on the sides, so I don't know what what the purpose of having a hole in the middle like that is. I would assume all these holes are just to make it lighten up a little bit, but who knows anyway this is the uh, LS2 LS130 quadcopter if you have any questions about this be sure to leave in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can and as always thanks for watching